guys, welcome back to another new episode of of reacting to dogs. As you can hear my dog barking in the background. If you know how to get rid of um, background noise, please let me know. I would love to be able to do that. Okay, number one. <laughs> another husky being dramatic. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Ivy. She doesn't stop. <laughs> Oh my god. Aww. Why are you barking? Why is my dog barking? Okay, on to the next one. Hey guys, on to number two. Aww. <laughs> I like his paws, they're just like me. I'll go on this side. Oh, I want that chair that she has in the background there. The little hammock chair, it's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just relaxing with it. I love that. I would love a dog to just do that. My dog would not stay in a bazillion years, but I love that. That is so cute. Um, He's just chilling. That's awesome. Okay, on to number three. Number three. Sometime later, a kind lady saved an injured bear, and later the grateful bear began to frequent her home. Sometime later, the bear visited the kind lady, politely strained her crooked carpet, and then closed the door behind him. When the bear's eye was mostly healed, he visited the lady again after making sure she was all right, closing the door behind him with his beak and left from then on. When the lady wanted to invite the bear in the house, the bear would politely stand guard so as not to dirty the floor while closing the door behind him each time he left. Even in snowy weather, the bear would come. The kind lady would brush off the snow. Then one lady to the place came with, so she came with her cubs, seemingly to remind the offsprings. The lady was touched. She did an interview, and she never expected the bears to be so touching. The lady also noticed that the bear seemed to have made a, her bear near its cubs. The grateful black bear has been guarding its rescuer and makes you wonder. At, at, makes you what? Sorry, makes you wonder at the want. Makes you wonder at the want, wonder of the world. Yeah, true. Um, it is interesting, though, that some bears are just not afraid of humans, but most of the bears are, and you got to be careful with that. Uh, you don't want them hurting you, even though you are trying to help them out. They might not see it that way, of course, because they are, we are obviously different species than they are, and just, she, I think she got lucky with this bear. I remember, Ivy, lay down. I remember this one time at my camp. Oh, she's fluffing the carpet Any, to make a little bed for her. But anyways, there was this one time at my camp, my uncle was painting our outhouse, and it's like a good like 30 so, or so feet away from our camp. And um, you walk to it, he was painting it, and our dog at the time was all like black, all black, all fur was black, and he almost reached down to pet it, not realizing it was a bear. Then he looked and he was like, oh, it's a bear, and this bear was not afraid of us. So it was really weird, it was wild. Why are you doing this? Oh my god, just lay down. <laughs> she won't lay down, I don't know. I don't get it. I bet you as soon as I stop this recording, she'll lay down. But that is it for number four. Let me know if you've encountered a bear that was friendly and that wasn't afraid of humans, or, or if you've encountered, encountered a bear that wasn't. I'd love to hear your stories. Okay, number four, here we go. I want to know what kind of dog this is. Do you guys know? I'd love to hear in your comments. He's just so happy. He has the biggest smile on his face. Oh, <laughs> This is so cute. I love it. That was a small one, a very short one. Let me know what you guys think of this one. And let me know if you guys know the kind of dog um, this is. Because I'm not 100% sure. And I really love it. I love them. They are adorable. Okay, on to the next one. Oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Cats are so funny. Oh, <laughs> bites his tongue. Oh, there goes a, a, oh, poor baby. 
Who goes there? Who goes there? <laughs> oh god. That would scare me. Oh my god. Oh, just <laughs> Oh. oh, that's a big, that's a lot. Oh, <laughs> don't it? Oh, why are your animals so skittish? <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot. Whatever you're spinning at him. Jesus. It's funny when you see a different species of animal fight. Playing with a different species, like a cat and a dog, or a chicken and a dog, like or a goat and a dog. I've never seen, you know. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, on to the last one. Okay, guys, this is the last one. Let's take a look. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love that kick. Oh, okay, awesome, cool dog, cool dog. <laughs> oh, I love that. Teasing him. Oh, my. I'm just walking. Walk right back out. I love jackets on dogs. What do you guys think? I love that. Oh, dog came out. Oh. I love how it stares. <laughs> this, what are you doing? And broken. And wasn't me. I'm not guilty. I'm trying to get out. Of the cage. <laughs> Who loves puppies as pug or pugs as puppies? Oh, they are so cute. I mean, they're cute as an adult, but they're like just a little cuter when they're puppies. But I guess that's all dogs. Oh. <laughs> One showing your teeth. Oh. <laughs> hey, get that tail out of my face. Oh, cute. Okay, anyways, that is it for me, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Weekend's coming up. Weekend is so close. Just one more day for you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Um, these are to spread some love, joy, and positivity. Um, especially if you guys are having not the greatest day. Just like a human being is. Some days we don't always have the best days. Anyways, have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll chat soon. Bye now.